Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trade uh nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, day of trading. If you are uh, brand new to the channel, thank you very much. Thank you very much for spending a couple of minutes uh, with us. Uh, only thing I ask is, right? Just like, share, subscribe, leave comments, whatever you feel. Whatever you feel to interact uh, with the community and we will continue or try to continue uh, to bring you uh, unbiased uh, technical analysis. So let's talk about it, right? So a few days ago, we reclaimed the 50-day moving average. Again, if you're brand new to the channel, pretty basic stuff. Anything over the 50-day is bullish. Anything over the under the 50-day is deemed a sell signal and it's bearish. So we reclaimed that 364 levels several days ago. And all we've been doing is putting in uh, higher highs and higher lows. And ever since we reclaimed the 50-day moving average, all of a sudden, the people who were screaming markets oversold, markets oversold from like a month ago, we're now screaming the markets overbought, markets overbought. I'm going to be looking to all in bro, right? I'm going to be looking to zero data expiration puts right at the open because there's no way, right? Like we discussed last night, yet last time in the video. There's no way the market go up again. There's no way, right? No way. We had this whole conversation uh, yesterday about, hey, just all you have to do is just wait for kind of a backside trade to start uh, and wait for the previous day's range to lose instead of guessing, right? That's how we kind of finished off yesterday. And guess what? Guess what the market did today? And guess what all the uh, bros that woke up this morning starting to say, I'm all in on puts at the open because the market can't go up again. Well, they got hammered again. And the reason why they got hammered again is we continues to build above the 50-day moving average. And you can see here for the last, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven days in a row that we are up, we're putting in, again, higher highs, higher lows, and there is no signs, right? There's no signs. We'll get to that in a second. That's kind of the, the surprise. Uh, there's no signs of a potential slowdown. We'll get to that in one second. However, the question is, well, how high can this market go? There's finally at least an answer. So at least waking up, at least tomorrow waking up in the same, I'm all in, bro, market's going to bleed. Instead of having that same personality and having the same, uh, having the same conversation with yourself, hoping this is finally the top. And I don't know why people are, are so, you know, are, are so hell bent to find the top. Okay. Okay. It's your world. You're a your dime, you're dance floor. But at least now you have a point of reference. And let me give you that point of reference. Um, Again, it's kind of like my thank you for all you guys to tuning in for your viewership. These are very specific numbers. Again, you guys know I'm all about technical analysis, not about guessing. At least now, if you believe that the market is going to have a pregnant pause, a stall out, right? At least a stall out at these levels. At least going into tomorrow, you finally have a point of reference. Write this down, right? Let's write this down. Look at the highs from October the 12th on the queues, right? You see the highs here, guys? The highs from October the 12th on the queues are 373.74. Everybody write that, write that down. 373.74. That's the highs. Look at today's highs, right? Today's highs is 373.58. On the surface, right? On the surface, it's a double top, right? On the surface. Here's the key for tomorrow, right? Here's the key for tomorrow. If you believe tomorrow is finally the day that if we gap up, we're going to reverse and crash down to the earth, or at least my mother, where my mother-in-law lives, right? Closest thing to hell you'll ever see. But the point is, at least tomorrow, if we can't take out, right? If we fail on the October 12 highs and we can't reclaim today's highs, at least then you can put on a position and say, all right, I know my max pain, right? I know my max pain. And if it starts building over the October 12 highs, I could get out of my position. Other than that, you're guessing, you're gambling, you're forecasting, you have an opinion. I forgot who said it in the room today. I think it was Goose. Yes, there's somebody in our, our, our webinar named Goose. Big shout out to Goose. He said, everybody has an opinion, right? There's over a million opinions. There's only one confirmation. And that's a great line. And kudos to Goose. That's a great, great line. Stuck with me for the whole day. And he's absolutely right. Everybody has an opinion. The market's going to go up. 
market's going to go down. There's only one point of reference, what we call the confirmation. So at least you have a point of reference going into tomorrow, right? 373.75, that is the pregnant pause, the stall out potential of the area. Yes, if the market hits that area or gets rejected over the area, is it possible we finally turn around and start getting a, a pretty good, deserved, well-deserved back test back into the rising five-day support? Absolutely, that's on the table. However, there's also another, another side of this coin is, well, the market can still keep on going. And that's the most important part to understand. What you think is irrational, what you think doesn't make sense, you're right. On the surface, you're absolutely right. But the market doesn't care what you think. Like I said, like Goose said, a million opinions, one point of reference, one confirmation. So if we start building above that level, right? If we start building above that level, 373, 80, 374 level, then we can find ourselves all the way up to the upper Bollinger Band at 378. That's the, the, you know, that's the official line of the sand. The bulls need to reclaim uh, 373, 75, uh, 374. The bears need to make sure they get rejected there. And that will at least confirm for a very, very short pregnant pause, a double top in this magnificent, wonderful seven day route. That's it. There's nothing else. There's nothing more subjective to have a conversation about what, what I think is going to happen tomorrow. We either going to get rejected at the top of the range and fade, or we are going to reclaim that top of the range and rally potentially to that 378 level. At 378, then there's obviously another potential for a blow off top. But again, everybody wants a bull market until the market starts to rally. What the hell do you people want, right? What's going to make everybody so happy when the market goes down? Cash is a position, bro. You got to sit on your hands. When the market's going up, market can't rally. The market's overbought. My God, what is going to make some of you people happy? Go with the flow, man. Go with the flow. Let down your hair, right? Let down your curlies. Let down your hair. Go with the flow. Go with the price action. The market's strong. Get on the wave. The market's weak. You know, write, write it down. But the point is, let the market dictate your career. You don't dictate your career. Price action does. If you start to get into these really awful habits of trying to be in the prediction game to show everybody on, especially on social media, which, oh my God, that you have to be, you have to be so eloquent and you have to be so brilliant because people won't take you seriously, right? If that's your game, you have a very, very tough time in this business. If you believe in price action is king and everybody has an opinion, that's cool. But price action is king. And, 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 and then the end of the game, that's go, going to determine whether you're in this business or you're going to be moseyed along in that proverbial uh, ro you know, rotation door, whatever it's called, revolving door, right? So it's very, very important. Obviously, if you traded today, you can see, and kind of we talked about in last night's video, there's a lot of really good aggressive price action today. As you could possibly imagine, again, another series of higher highs and higher lows. That is the key. That's what we talked about in last night's video. Remember what we talked about last night. Uh, if the stock wants to go higher, it needs to take out the previous day's high. If the stock wants to go lower, it needs to take out the previous day's low. Look what happened, right? The Qs took out the previous day's high, started building off this channel, and started going nuts again. And here we are going into the pivots. So let's talk about today's pivots. Uh, again, as you could possibly imagine, really, really strong session, right? Really strong session. So let's start off with Meta. Uh, Meta 319 needs to build. Here is Meta right? Took out 19. Took a while, man. Really, it really, I think we talked about Meta last night in the video. I think I gave you guys Meta last night in the video. So Meta, the 319 pivot, it sat there, sat there, finally exploded to 321. If the market continues to go higher tomorrow, I still like it above today's channel, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. I, I you know, I might, uh, I might start sipping my own Kool-Aid and say, hey, you know what? Maybe there is going to be a potential rejection, which I will be watching uh, but again, if the market starts reclaiming that three uh, that that level we talked about, um, you know, I think there's a shot that uh, Meta extends. Uh, Nvidia was again really really good today. Uh, Four fifty nine thirty five. We caught like a an instant instant move on this thing very very quickly. Four thirty nine uh, thirty five. Put an initial high of four sixty, and once it got above four sixty, I think we got like two bucks out of this thing in like in man, it felt like it felt like forty seconds. But boy oh boy, you see that spike here. This was the spike from 360. See, you see the 460 spike? 460 to 462 is like 30, 40 seconds. Really good. They took out a lot of liquidity uh, off that 360. And again, stock continues to, to go higher, continues to put uh, higher lows. And you know, who knows? Maybe they start running this thing uh, into uh, earnings, into the upper channel of 477. Again, if the market continues, uh, NVIDIA is strong. But again, names like NVIDIA, you would definitely want to 
uh, now because it's so uh, now it's a little bit stretched out in the last three four days. But consider uh, taking it into weakness then uh, into strength. Uh, Apple, we talked about yesterday, broke out yesterday above the 150-day moving average. Today continued uh, 179.45 uh, needs to build. Here is uh, Apple, right? Apple, beautiful, right? Confirmed the 150 yesterday, confirmed today's price channel, and got right into the 100-day moving average. Now it just needs to confirm uh, the October, the 12 highs. You see how it's correlating the Qs and Apple, right? So October uh, October 12 highs is going to be very, very important for a lot of names uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session. Uh, Zoom, again, got rejected at 63.61, uh, never triggered. Uh, crowd, right? Dog, uh, DDOG came out really strong earnings. Uh, crowd is obviously in the same group. 192 needs to build. Here was crowd, right? Here was crowd. Took out the 92, went almost to 95. Nice move there. And the last one, I believe, was, well, was, there was two more. Uh, NET. Again, same uh, same uh, group as Dog. Sixty four sixty needs to build. Here is NET, right? Took out the sixty four sixty, traded all the way up to sixty six and change, uh, which it closed pretty much at the highs. And the last one was AMD. AMD thirteen forty needs to build. If you guys remember, we talked about yesterday Shopify, uh, AMD uh, resting, right? Resting after earnings, and today it took out the thirteen forty. Uh, Here is uh, AMD. Took out that. Uh, uh, took out that uh, 130, uh, 113.40 and went all the way up to almost that 15 level. So that's it, guys. The stage is set for tomorrow. Uh, again, we'll see if this market gets uh, keeps on going. But if not, again, we are prepared on both sides of the market. Uh, that's 73, 373.70s, 374 level. Let's see how the bulls handle that. Because again, if they do get rejected, then yes, this will confirm a little miniature double top. It will signal a short-term sell signal for at least maybe a day or two but again the flip side um if these bulls start building off that level we could start continuing to stretch the 378 so that's it guys uh the screenplay is written uh the cast of actors is i guess casted right now we just need to see how the movie ends guys have a great night everybody god bless and i'll see you on tomorrow night's video take care